Okay, so let's look at two qualitative variables. The first thing I have up here, small, uh, lowercase brick is equal to factor of large case brick. You may recall if you looked at the data that brick was denoted zero or one, and those are numbers. Well, when you have two qualitative variables, R requires that if you use numbers that you tell it that you're gonna use those numbers as if they were a categorical variable. I could have left put capital brick over here uh, and factor it, which would which would be one way to go. I went ahead and just gave it a, a different name by using lowercase. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put make put a table or make a table with brick and which neighbor you who you were in. So whether or not there were a home was made out of brick by which neighborhood, and then. So I've, since I've made that an object, now I have to call the object, and there I have just a cross tab tabulation of neighborhood and whether or not there's a brick home. Now I'm just going to make a simple bar plot of that, and it's going to come out to be what's called a stacked bar plot. So in A, neighborhood A, we had 21 and 5, and then in neighborhood B, you can see uh, 35 and 1. I personally prefer to have side by side on my bar plot, so I did that by set setting beside equal to t or true. And I'm going to go ahead and make a legend based on the row names of the table t and some labels there. And this las equal 1, uh, well, let's, let's see if that's what happens if that's not in there first. or what will happen when we do it. Let's get this and then run it. And you can see now I have a title and a legend and access titles and so on. And now I'm going to put that LAS equal 1. And what I want to show you is on the Y axis, uh, what I want to do is the LAS 1 will shift those numbers to make them horizontal, which is, to me, just a little easier to read. That's because I didn't put a comma at the end of that line. And there we have it. 